The Escape Gelang Singapore Province of Johor Malaya 1962 Guys this way take the long way around admin block and head to the gym make sure you lock and barricade the doors behind you says Steve to a group of students from the classroom three doors down the Yunus wing corridor hallway is a mess with students bags books and other personal belongings scattered all over the floor it was a frenzy earlier everyone was running away in panic trying to escape something tread quietly try not to make any noise avoid attracting attention to yourselves he whispers to the teens as he gently pushes the classroom door open now go go don't look back what about you steve asks one of the girls in the group i'll be checking out the other classrooms down the hall to see if anyone else is stuck i'll be right behind you meet you there at the gym No time to waste. Get moving, Julia. He says as he paces quickly yet quietly in the opposite direction. Gelang High School had seen better days, but today was just a spectacular epic disaster. As recently as about 2 hours earlier, over at the Al Junit wing, students, teachers, basically everyone who was around the premises using the free state facilities over the current term break were having a go at each other and in the worst imaginable way possible everyone was quite literally at everyone else's throats not a result of a gang fight or an altercation between different student groups nothing of the sort there was an even a sensible logical reason or explanation people were literally just killing each other any swingable object became an instant weapon of death. Most common areas utilized were now an open morgue. The cafeteria had it the worst. Its floors and walls now decorated in strokes and spatters of crimson. Obviously someone found the kitchen cleavers. The kids over at the Yunus wing were lucky that their block was quite a distance from the affected area, being on the opposite end of the grounds. Steve and Shan, who were on their way back to Yunus wing from the admin block, noticed what happened and ran back as quickly as they could to warn their friends there. The action would naturally flow and spill into the Yunus wing, which despite its distance is still a joint to the rest of the superstructure. It's just a matter of time. Get out of harm's way, stay alive, call for help, then figure out what to do next. The gym, a separate structure, was perfect for this. At least That was the immediate plan. Okay, nobody else. Time to get to the gym. Steve thinks to himself as he quickly inspects the last classroom. Finding nobody there, he wastes no time and springs towards the direction of the gym, pacing himself swiftly but carefully enough not to make any unnecessary noise along the way. It has been eerily quiet for the past half hour or so and he wanted to keep things this way. What the hell came over them? must be some kind of aggression enhancing drug or something like that none of this makes any sense at all if all affected people were out to eliminate any and all other living things there would eventually only be one survivor with nothing left to kill or at best a few of them who've not stumbled upon each other or other people to attack survival of the fittest or sickest in this instance this was pretty much what steve was deducing from all this based on what he had witnessed earlier So the best course of action was for all unaffected individuals to remain invisible for as long as possible and wait the whole thing out to reduce the odds of being attacked supposedly unless of course healthy people were susceptible to just turn without any warning As Steve arrives safely at the gym he notices the door ajar he rushes in and closes the doors behind him He notices Julia on the floor all by herself. Julia, why is it so dark in here? Where's everyone else? What happened? Julia, 